My name is Richard Coward. I'm a consultant paediatric nephrologist who works in Bristol Children's Hospital. I'm also a reader at the University of Bristol and I've recently secured an MRC Senior Clinical Fellowship. The Clinical Fellowship involves basically a blend between doing research and running a lab uh, and also having a clinical commitment and looking after patients on paediatrics, so children in Bristol Children's Hospital. Practically, what it allows me to do is predominantly research, so about 80 to 90% of my time is research, and the other 10 to 20% is, is looking after the patients. So I do four weeks a year acute service, so that means I look after all the children that come in with kidney disease to our unit in the southwest. Uh, and I do a clinic where I've got patients that I've been following up for a long time, a number of years, who I see on a monthly basis. My expertise now is podocyte biology, but particularly um, the way insulin and insulin-like growth factors affect this particular cell type in the kidney. The podocyte is an extremely interesting cell. This cell is found in the glomerulus of the kidney, which is the filtering unit. It looks like an octopus. So it's got a big cell body. It's got processes that come out called primary processes and then more processes which are the foot processes and I think we now know it's the key cell in preventing protein leaking into the urine. I trained as a doctor and did my clinical training. Um, I went to New Zealand to work as a registrar pretty early on and that's when I first did nephrology and that's when I looked after a patient with congenital nephrotic syndrome. So this is a child that was born leaking lots of albumin into it urine or protein into its urine early on and we didn't know why they were getting it but it became clear through this landmark discovery in 1999 it was due to a defect in a protein in the podocyte called nephrin so that's when I thought actually this is really interesting I'd quite like to get into it I said I was near the end of my clinical training I came back to the UK worked at Great Ormond Street and then after that I decided to do a PhD I discovered that the podocyte was insulin sensitive uh, and my kind of career interest changed tack to look at insulin and insulin like growth factors signaling to this particular cell. And about a year after I got my PhD I was fortuitous to get a MRC clinician scientist post and this was a really brilliant springboard to kind of go on. What I wanted to do in that was try and prove that insulin signaling to the podocyte was biologically important. Uh, and the way I did this was by going to work in probably the best uh, transgenic glomerular mouse laboratory in the world, which is in Canada in Toronto. So I went over there in 2008 to work with Sue Quaggin and took my whole family with me, which was brilliant. We went there for, for 20 months. Um, and in collaboration with Ron Kahn and other people in the States, I was able to make this, this mouse uh, and this mouse subsequently developed kidney disease, suggesting that it's an important pathway. The insulin pathway is a pathway whereby the hormone insulin goes through the blood and then it binds to a receptor, predominantly the insulin receptor, but it can also signal through the IGF-1 receptor, but with a lot less affinity. What it then does is it sets up a cascade of phosphorylation events within the cell and it can go through lots of different pathways and then it will have a biological effect on that cell. I think the clinical work is extremely helpful in what I do. Um, I'm obviously interested in kidney disease but what's great is I can go to the ward, I can see the patients, I can see the problems they've got and I can think about ways of you know potentially trying to investigate their, their problems in more detail back in the lab uh, from a molecular biological perspective. I think the MRC are absolutely spot on with the way that their philosophy to be really encouraging of academic industrial relations and collaborations. I knew that the MRC were, were supportive of this and actually uh, it really helped me when I had a, an approach from industry to collaborate. I gave a talk in Australia and uh, one of the lead researchers from Novo Nordisk approached me to say would, we like to, would you like to meet up and collaborate 
and I thought that would be a really good idea. So uh, I met with them, and actually that's developed into a really nice collaboration, and, uh, and actually got some really good end results now. They realised that the fact that the podocyte is insulin sensitive, that there could be some really nice links that we could get there. That's the way to really build bridges and develop academic uh, industrial relations. A major driver of, of us doing research is ultimately to deliver patient benefit. I do basic science, so it's going to take probably quite a long time to translate our basic scientific discoveries into patient benefit. Any way that we can do that quicker, I think, is a really good idea.